Alright. Peace, everybody. How's everyone doing? Um, just making this video real quick. It's for the fighter inside. I want to thank you. Uh, I think it was the last video you came out with. It was about uh, the riots and people need to humble themselves. That's what you were saying. And you're right, man. You're, you're so right. Uh, it humbled me and you know, I was on the, the path and, and the mind frame of fighting fire with fire. Then I had to step back and I started thinking about my past decisions I made fighting fire with fire and, and, the, and, the, and the outcome, the consequences that happened. Nothing positive ever came out of fighting fire with fire. Uh, either people get hurt or you end up in prison or you end up paying fines or just nothing good ever comes out of fighting fire with fire. The fire just gets bigger. Now, I'm not saying people don't need to come together. We need to come together more than ever now. Um, it, it, when I say that, I mean seriously because uh, it's obvious the government isn't going to be there for us. It never was. From what I'm understanding, so many people that need this, these checks haven't even got them yet. And I heard Trump was supposed to do a round two. He didn't even do round one completely. But, anyway, before I lose track, to the fighter inside, thank you. I watch a lot of your videos, same there, all of them when they come out. And they humble me, and I, see, I look at things differently. I take a step back, and I get calm. And I've also learned a lot of things, too. Uh, and to Donnie from Daytona, thank you, man, for the shout-out. I've seen that video. Um, I got a couple more subscribers from that, man. I appreciate it. I really do. You're one of the only people I reached out to actually even answer comments or say something back, which, man, I appreciate. Because there's a lot of people that are, have a big channel. And they, to me, unless they know the people or whatever, they don't. people don't really respond. They say they don't have time to, but I think most of the time they just don't want to. But thank you, Donnie from Daytona. I love watching your videos, and thank you to the fighter inside. I like watching your videos too. I learn a lot from both, and they both have helped me out in my situations in life. And Donnie from Daytona, the footage you put out, man, is freaking awesome. Um. I even try to bring the light to a lot of Christians about Genesis and the flat earth, and yet they still don't see it. Um, and Satan, right, uh, wanted to take the most high out of the equation. Well, with the heliocentric model, that makes the most high look unstable. With all these objects floating around and flying, all this chaos, it makes it look like the Creator was unstable and, and didn't have us in mind, which is all false. We are all created. Everything you see always has been and always will be. Anyway, as far as the rioting, people need to chill and understand the anger I do. But burning stuff down not the answer. It ain't gonna solve no problem. Most of the stuff you're burning down when people had nothing to do with it, you're just destroying their home or their business for what? If you're gonna burn anything down. Now let me not say that. Because even burning the police stations down, they're gonna put us in a bigger issue. They're gonna call in the military and then it's gonna make a bigger problem. I think we should protest every day without burning stuff down. The hippies had peaceful protests. Um, maybe we need some acid. No, I'm joking. Um, and then I just got one more real quick comment to the guy who came to my channel and told me I need help bad. So I, I had to go check his channel. I want to see what he was about. 
The first video I seen was a portable toilet on how to make mulch with a portable toilet. 14.9 thousand subscribers. And that's all you got to talk about. That's a big channel, man. That's a lot of people that you can enlighten on some truth. But that's you. Anyway. I appreciate my 103 subscribers, man. I do. You know, thumbs down, thumbs up. It just lets me know how you feel. My last video got already three thumbs down. Whatever. It ain't going to stop me from making what I want to make. Um, it just goes to show people aren't interested in the truth. People are more interested in the lies. So, the truth hurts, my friend. The truth hurts. When you dig, go down rabbit holes, the truth will hurt you. You should dig down some rabbit holes. You know what I mean? People think that black people got it bad now. Why don't you read the history and see what they went through when colonialism arrived? Um, how they were snatched from their land. See, we were taught that the slaves came from Africa, but they already were here. And that's how I see it. And they slaughtered millions. As far as the, I don't know. They always say that people disappear in history. Oh, they just got up and disappeared and just moved. Now, why would they move from a beautiful city that they created like the Mayans? They just disappeared. Yeah, you killed them. They were killed, slaughtered. I'm just babbling on. Anyway, the whole point of this video is to thank my subscribers, to thank the fighter inside and Donnie from Daytona, and to thank that jerk for leaving that comment. Um, I like jerks to leave comments like that. Sometimes it makes me laugh. So, and Ann Pearson, she leaves comments too, and other people. But that's about it. I really don't got too much to talk about. I'm about to go research some more. I'd rather spend time researching than trying to enlighten people who are just blind and don't want to see the truth. I get frustrated. I, I try more with the people I know and my friends. I'm going to show you. I'm going to tell you one. I try to enlighten my friends about the sun and the moon not being sun not being 95 million miles away because of the crepuscular rays it gives off in the clouds, proves that it's a local light. Also, excuse me, when the moon is out and the sun is rising and the sun and the moon are in the same sky above our head, what's shadowing the moon? It's not the earth. It's not the earth. And I got into a big argument with him about that. And he kept saying, yeah, it is. I'm like, how, dude, when the sun and the moon are over our heads and they're right in front of us, the earth is below us, and he wasn't getting it, and I'm like, dude, man, anyway, peace out, I really don't got much more to say, that was just a, you know, it, I try to have humbleness with people because I was once in their shoes, man, I was once far asleep. I don't know how I became woke, or if that's the, the term you want to use, whatever. I don't know how I started seeing things differently, but it did, and it happened, and I'm grateful. The Most High plays big parts in our life, spiritually, and you don't need a Bible or religion to bring you closer to the Creator. But you could learn lessons from the basic instructions before leaving Earth. Or the Quran. Um, just don't idolize people or idolize meaning. I don't understand why people idolize when you, as self, are more powerful than the idol. You yourself are powerful. You yourself are supreme people. We are all supreme. We were all created. Um, we're all beautiful. We're all smart. We 
we have just been bamboozled our whole life. 